Hi and welcome to Retro Eric. Today I'm going to show you uh, some uh, DOS menus. We have some graphical user interface and we have some text or ASCII user interface menus. So uh, I will uh, show you uh, each um, menu I found worthy for this video and uh, yeah, we'll uh, see what they can do and uh, what they cannot do. This is a quick menu three. It's a graphical user interface and this is the unregistered copy. I don't know if it's possible to register it. It's uh, made in 1998. If uh, you have uh, registered uh, this uh, software recently, please let me know in the comments below. Okay, it's a graphical user interface. It uh, has these icons are built in. Uh, so you see you can open text files directly uh, from the menu. Uh, you can have several pages. Uh, you can add your own icons. It has a built-in file browser. It has built-in utilities. And it is very easy to add or edit icons. So let's try adding an icon. First we can change the title. You can see. I have to change it to Retro Eric Quick Menu 3 demonstration. Uh, we'll add a software icon. We'll choose uh, a game, Turrican 2, and type the name Turrican 2, and choose a keyboard shortcut. Okay, um, we'll choose the style here. We can choose from icons. Uh, we have built-in icons. We can add our own icons through the editor and you can even import icon files, uh, ICO files, the same as Windows use, uses and PCX images. Uh, this is a great uh, editor. Okay, I'll just choose this icon here for now. We can also choose the style. We can have pure text icons or different kind of icon uh, frames. Let's settle for this. OK. And place it here. That's it. It's very easy to set up. It's uh, easy to add icons. It's a quick um, menu system and it's uh, graphical. Uh, you can also protect, uh, password protect uh, some of your icons um, if you need that. One last thing, how much memory does it use? Let's uh, start for DOS and see. Mem slash C slash P tells us that uh, the menu system itself does not use any memory. Uh, as we can see here, only the system command com and for DOS uses memory. Okay, that was quick menu three, let's move on. Next out, Access version 4.6. Uh, this is also a graphical user interface. It's uh, quite nice to look at. Uh, you can, um, in the setup program, um, choose how you, uh, which colors or which uh, backgrounds you want to use. Uh, it uses actually more CPU or demands a, a fast computer than uh, Quick Menu 3 did. Quick Menu 3 uh, can be used on a 286 or newer. Uh, this one um, uses or needs a 486 or better. It's probably because the fancy 3D vector graphics uh, running in top here. Anyway, it's. Um, uh, very easy to use. It uh, doesn't have all the utilities or the extras as Quick Menu has. Um, here you can create groups or and here you have programs on the right side. In the group uh, folder I only have added one um, program that's Fordos and in the games folder see we have Dark Forces and Prehistoric. Down here we can choose edit. Um, I can press prehistoric and choose edit and as you can see it's very easy uh, you can browse to your file and uh, just choose it type in the name uh, and choose an icon 
Um, it has more icons uh, than quick menu, but uh, it's not that easy to add new ones. You can see here, there is no uh, choice for adding new ones, but we can do that uh, from an extra program in DOS. So um, uh, let's see uh, how that works. We can actually, instead of exiting the program, let's just uh, start for DOS. And in 4DOS, we'll do the same memory test as we did earlier. And we see that actually it uses one kilobyte less memory than Quick Menu. And that is because Quick Menu actually first starts command.com before it started start the program, in this case 4DOS. But uh, um, Access only starts the program without the command com first. So you save a kilobyte on that. But um, Access has uh, some built-in uh, programs and one of them is uh, add icon. So here you can add an icon. If I want to add the 4DOS icon, I just type add icon and the path to the icon and it will actually ask me if I want to add it to the library. Let's press yes. Let's uh, exit 4DOS and go back to the menu. We are back to the menu and we'll choose 4DOS and edit an icon and see if we have it here. Now we have the 4DOS icon here and we can choose it. Okay. So that was uh, Access version 4.6. Next out is uh, Mo or Moo, I don't know how you say it. Uh, it's a text editor, but uh, it has quite uh, a few useful features. Um, the first menu that will greet you is uh, Harry's Programs. I guess that's the authors. Um, he has a lot of uh, uh, menu items and uh, you can use your arrow keys or page up and page down to move around. You have um, uh, drop down menus from uh, in the file menu, edit menu, adapt and help. Uh, you have a create menu automatically choice here. Uh, I will not recommend using that. It will actually look through uh, your hard drive and suggest to add all common XE and BAT files. And it's just a hell of a lot of programs to automatically be added to your menu. So I um, recommend uh, using the manual method, modify item, um, to uh, add or modify the items that are there. I recommend also to remember um, the keyboard shortcut, Alt-M. So let's uh, try that. Let's uh, go down here and press Alt M and add four, four dots. Uh, also here we can uh, set passwords if we want to. And uh, that's it. Escape and we have added a new uh, menu item here for DOS. Very easy to use, very quick. You can also use your mouse if you want to. Um, uh, you can also uh, switch to limited menus. That actually means that most uh, menu items will disappear. Um, uh, a few uh, things that I recommend that you change in the settings here. Prompt when executing program, uh, the default is yes. That means that every time you choose a program, it will ask you, do you really want to uh, execute this program? Yes or no? Of course you want to if you uh, have uh, chosen it. So we'll uh, put down here, um, alphabetize, uh, that's okay. Line spacing, I like it actually single spaced. As you can see here, you get much more on the menu. Um, and you can set colors. Um, I like menu option three. 
uh, yellow on black. Yeah, it has a built-in uh, well, screen blanker. And uh, of course a good uh, help monitor. Okay, that was a Moo. Uh, I like it. It's uh, easy, it's uh, quick, it uh, does not use any memory. Uh, let's uh, test that out. You see, the only memory is used here is the system and the 4 DOS that I just started. So um, it's a very quick, very easy, and it has the features you need in a menu. And then we have a D menu or Douglas menu. Um, I have to say, um, it uh, looks nice here, but uh, there is no way to change or add or do anything from the menu itself. So when uh, realizing that uh, the way to edit um, the menu, you need to open uh, the definition file in uh, an editor and basically write a lot of stuff. I can see that um, this gives you much more control where to place the the choices, uh, you can have different kind of menus and you have basically full control, but it takes too much time, at least for me, uh, to use a system like this. So, um, well, yeah, I've shown you uh, very briefly that it exists. Uh, it's up to you if uh, you want to use it or not. Next out is uh, PC menu. It's a simple, easy uh, menu, uh, but um, as the previous uh, dog menu, we could uh, or cannot uh, change anything from within the menu system it, uh, itself. So to do any changes, you need to edit the menu file. It's uh, a lot easier than the dog menu, uh, but still uh, too much uh, hassle. Um, if you um, are able to uh, uh, do this or have the time to do this, why don't just do everything in a batch file yourself? So uh, why not just create uh, your own menu uh, in a batch file? Uh, I uh, made this very quickly just to have something to show. Um, as you can see, uh, it's uh, nothing to it. Um, I won't describe uh, everything you see here because uh, it's very easy to find uh, example and documentations online uh, for this. But uh, basically what it does, it's, uh, it shows you some uh, choices, gives you some choices and uh, when you choose uh, one of them, it will uh, go down to that part of the, of the batch file and uh, start the program and uh, when it's uh, finished, it will uh, continue to the end part of the batch file. Uh, in this case, I've uh, typed in a, a message, uh, but of course in real life, I would have uh, ram this out. And of course the same with the pause uh, to have a quick exit back to my menu. Uh, but um, I'll uh, start it. Here you are. Okay, I hope you learned uh, something from uh, this video. Uh, if you like uh, videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.